Hello everyone and welcome to Star Citizen Central. My name is Draxus and today I'm here to discuss currency in Star Citizen. We will talk about the various types, what they are used for, and how they are earned. And then in the next video we will begin looking at equipping any items that have been purchased. For starters, let's discuss the most basic of currency this game uses. United Earth Credits, or UEC for short, is what Star Citizen uses as its primary game currency. Once Star Citizen launches officially, it will be used to purchase everything from shirts, shoes, spacesuits, armor, weapons, ship armaments, ship upgrades, and ships themselves. And I'm sure many, many other things we can't even fathom yet. You will be able to earn the, these credits by completing missions, selling goods, trading, piracy, and much more. Players in the verse will start with an amount based on whichever package you purchased when you started playing the game. Currently inside the Persistent Test Universe, we have access to Alpha United Earth Credits, or what you'll see listed as AUEC. These serve the exact same function, but they will reset every time there is a patch, and is designed to test systems without impacting that amount of UEC that is given to you by your game package. The idea is to play without fear of loss. The game's mechanics need to be tested. This includes shopping. So let's pause a moment, real quick, to discuss EA. No, I don't mean those other guys. I'm talking about electronic access. So in the second video, we discussed Arena Commander and Star Marine as test environments. This is true for now, but the long-term goal is that these will be viewed as an in-game or an in-lore gaming or entertainment option uh, for players to participate in or watch via streaming both in-game and out-of-game using Amazon's uh, live streaming services. A game within a game. Death will have penalty in Star Citizen proper, and there, therefore combat would be terribly risky. These in-game simulators will allow for deathmatch modes and other fun play types. More about that in a different video. What matters now is that when you play those simulator modes, you earn rental equipment credits, or more commonly referred to as REC spelled R-E-C. One day when it matters more, I'm sure we will be able to spend our REC inside the verse, but for now, to spend REC, you need to actually go to the RSI website, robertsspaceindustries.com. Things purchased with REC are on a timer, and you are renting these items. This can be weapons for your ship, ship components, or entire ships. This serves as a way to reward people for testing. The more you test, the more wreck you will inevitably earn, and in turn, the more ships you can fly and try without spending real money on game packages or ship upgrades. So, once logged into RSI's website, simply hover over the Store tab at the top and click on Electronic Access. Once that page opens, you will see a splash screen with some hot items, and then just below that, you will be able to sort by item type. Once purchased, you will need to close Star Citizen completely and relaunch for your items to show up in your ship outfitting or the outfitting UI. In the next video, I will show you the two ways you can customize your ship in-game using the items purchased. Thank you for watching, and I will teach you in the verse.